okay and now I'm on the server and what I what I need to do is is I need to edit the um, config file SSH config file so I'm gonna do that let's see here I decided to do it here's the command I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a sudo I'm gonna use pico editor and I'm gonna edit the um, forward slash Etsy forward slash SSH forward slash SSH underscore config file so I'll do that and it opens up the config file with uh, root access and now I can scroll down through here and I'm looking for different lines in here okay RSSA authentication I need that have that set to yes and it is and then public key authentication I also need that set to yes and they both are so that's good um, and now I'm looking for some other lines that I'm gonna change let's see here um, challenge response authentication I'm gonna change that to no okay and password authentication I'm no longer going to use the password so I'm going to change that to no. We're going to authenticate because we have the public and private key. And then I'm also going to go down here all the way down to let's see here use PAM and I'm going to change that to no. Okay and I'm going to save um, okay let's see here exit control uh, control X to exit and save modified I'm going to hit Y and then I'll accept the uh, same file name and hit enter and once that's done looks like I had that saved I need to reload SSH now so I'm going to do a sudo forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash ssh reload which will reload the configuration file okay and okay that looks pretty good so let's see here I'll exit out and try to connect again alright so there it goes connection to the server was closed so last time I've been SSHing in with username and password this time I'm going to um, let me clear this just so we can have a clear screen this time I'm going to um, SSH and it will not take a password it's going to need the key to SSH nope denied okay I got it to work but as you can see here um, I, I got in I will show you one more time here let's see here exit okay so I've closed out now I can SSH into the server I'll hit enter okay I went onto the server separately away off camera here or off uh, video and, and you'll see in a moment I'll get a different response notice I'm SSHing into the server and I got right in uh, I did ask me for the passphrase last time of the um, key and this time it just let me right in because I have the key so I managed to get it to work uh, to do so though I had to put in some commands to to do it and what I did was is let me put LL here I had to change um, the dot SSH folder right here to uh, read write and execute permissions so I had to change it to 700 so I did a I did a sudo chmod right I did a sudo chmod dot ssh no chmod sudo chmod 700 space for the dot ssh folder just like that okay so I did that and let's see here password um, right and now when I do an LL we should see that read write execute still on the SSH folder yeah the read write execute on the SSH folder and then I'm gonna change directory and go into that folder 
and do an LL. And I had to change the authorize keys directory folder to a 600 permission. So that was something like this, gmod 600 to the authorized keys folder. Okay, and and then when I did that, everything uh, seemed to work out pretty good. So I was able to get in.